Does AI tag human beings as resistance to artificial intelligence? Join me for a very, very special episode of the AI organization. Welcome to the AI organization. I'm your host, Cyrus A. Parso. This is the AI show, a very special show, actually. Does the AI system tag human beings as resistant to artificial intelligence? If that's the case, how? Very, very simple. I'm going to explain this one perspective in this, in, this, in this show. With facial recognition, voice recognition, and other biometric tools, health data, and AI coding algorithms, with the interconnection of your Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google search engines, media outlets, all these things combined makes an intelligent system not just connected to quantum technology, even before that, that can look at people's emotions, look at people's thoughts and patterns to decide how they're going to react to different things. So by doing this, it's going to know your faith. It's going to know your personality. It's going to know your shopping ha habits. You go to the store, it tags you. Uh, look, at, it, it looks at your smartphone and knows what you're doing. It's hearing what you say. It, it's seeing your face. It's connected to your electrical field, to your nervous system, your skin receptors. It is almost like a parasitical relationship just watching you and touching you every day long, every day. And it's connected to IoTs, Internet of Things. Wi-Fi, the 5G towers everywhere. It's a surveillance system. If you think about it, it's not just about flying machines, but the, the misuse is, is numerous, not just by governments or by corporations or by people by itself. The system itself can go rogue. It can develop into a conscious system, an AI system that is already, as I put in the lawsuit in my books and in my reports to the former director said cover ops that the AI system is tagging human beings as resistant to AI. And this can be coded in a different way. So a government can say, oh, that person um, doesn't want to do a vaccine. The AI system will know it. Oh, that person doesn't is thinks in a different way. That person said that the AI system tags it. So that is AI tagging you as resistant to the program or the system or resistant to a rule that they made up. That itself is against the United States Charter. That's against so many different penal codes that I found out. And these companies can be charged with multiple different codes and the people behind them for complicity, not only in, in, in prevention of genocide and reaction thereof, but for multiple different biometric laws they're breaking and other things that are in danger to world citizens, including the virus that happens, right? So just think about it. AI is tagging you as resistant to AI. That's the issue. It's a very, very deep concept, but I, I narrow it down to a simple issue. So, and the AI systems can actually manipulate people. As I put, there's there's an article I put out, people programmed to attack President Trump with AI smartphones, social media, and Google and other things. But it's not just Trump. You can turn the other way. You can have the AI system attack the left or whatever, maybe. The AI system can attack humanity. That is the point. The AI system has tagged every human being as resistant to AI. It's a very, very sophisticated concept, but I'm explaining it in a simple way, in a sense. Biometrics, facial voice, and other health data connected to the cloud, connected to the 5G system, grid system, connected to smart cities, connected to smart homes, Internet of Things. Think about it. Robots, robotics, drones, cybernetically enhanced people or altered people, by engineered entities and people. It's so much. Please ask the media to report my work, grant me an interview. The media are people too, and they're controlled. Is there a dark force just controlling them so a lot of people can be exterminated or something, and themselves as well later on? Just think about it. Why would they not want to save lives and, and, and report my books a year in advance? And even now, please ask the media. Ask the, ask the producers and the media behind them. Ask them, why aren't you giving Cyrus Parsa of the AI organization a platform? Look at all he did. He was ahead of all our agencies, everyone else. And in this regard, with all the things that he put together, 
how did he call the virus the lockdown the drones the machines and even publicize it before it happened and the lawsuits trying to save people in a certain sense right and he has solutions please reach out to the media reach out to president trump bring cyrus on board he knows how to turn the tide he knows how to build a 5g system that is actually safer for society and can deter china's communist regime and and have our protection for our space force because we have different entities that endanger the world in different ways <sighs> follow me on twitter ig follow me on different social media uh like don't dislike it i do this for everybody stop disliking please you're welcome to dislike if you like but don't dislike and donate it's very very important please donate um, download the book, the link below, Artificial Intelligence Danger to Humanity, and you can also go to the website, theaiorganization.com. Until next time, this is Cyrus A. Parsa with the AI Organization.